After years of delays, Boeing Starliner will carry a crew for the very first time. Monday's launch is looking good. Our Space Coast Bureau Chief Scott Heiler live for us at the Kennedy Space Center where there was just an update. Scott, what's the latest on this historic launch? Yeah, well, NASA, Boeing, and ULA launch leadership all pulling go in a launch readiness review that just took place here a few hours ago. And the weather at launch time, near perfect. We've come to the point where we are all in total agreement. Uh, you can't be more confident than that. Because uh, it is a test flight, we give extra attention. Uh, they're checking out a lot of the systems, the life support, the manual control. This crew flight test, or CFT, taking its ride up to orbit atop a ULA Atlas V rocket. It'll be the first time ever that an Atlas V rocket will carry humans and the first mission of NASA's commercial crew program to lift off from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. And lift off of NASA Crew 8. SpaceX's eight missions in the program all lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center. Starliner will play an important, albeit late, role once it joins rotations with SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule. If something were to happen on station, you know, and um, there was an emergency or something, we would now have, once we certify Starliner, have that capability to have redundant U.S. transportation systems. We wouldn't be here if we weren't ready. Uh, we are ready. The spacecraft's ready. The two test astronauts, NASA veterans, Commander Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. They'll dock at the ISS for about eight days, a great deal of that time testing out the new Starliner. If everything goes well with this test mission, Starliner 1 could launch in 2025, and that would be integrating into rotations with SpaceX every six months up to the ISS. Reporting live at the Kennedy Space Center, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.